Some people are saying it sickens them how they are treating Americans. And this can't be true. They feel like they're going to wake up and eventually smell the coffee. But some people feel like a second quarantine is coming with no food and power. They thought no toilet paper was bad. <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. All right, so welcome to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Community. Right now, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying. I mean, if you subscribe to our community, then I invite you back. And if you're not, then consider subscribing today. It's free. Now, this is your report. This is the news coming at you now. You know, we check the news and we coming at you. Just like I say, when I know more, I'll come here and let you know more. All right, so Nancy Pelosi, the leader of the Democrats in the House of Representatives, was actually, you know, she gave a due date for Wednesday. That's coming and going. And, uh, you know, the Senate, you know, they voted on the standalone bill, uh, depending on when you listen to this, uh, they voted on the standalone bill, you know, for a second PPP round, uh, and money for, uh, you know, unemployed people, uh, and small businesses, you know, some Democrats in the Senate, you know, they signed up with the Republicans. However, the Senate, uh, they still fail to get the 60 votes, you know, essential to pass, you know, the standalone bill. Now the Supreme court candidate judge Amy Barrett, you know, she was, you know, she's anticipated to be voted on and authorized by, you know, the Senate on this Monday coming, you know, depending on when you listen to this, but COVID-19 cases, you know, they're continuing to increase in the United States. And, you know, the scenario is intensifying in Europe. Actually. Did you know that uh, it's intensifying in Europe? You know, this is your news today. You know, now let me bring you up to speed with the second stimulus check and the stimulus plan. You know, Nancy Pelosi previously stated that, you know, uh, Wednesday was the deadline to reach the, uh, the arrangement. And, you know, otherwise there wouldn't be any stimulus, you know, prior to the election. You know, the stimulus package settlements, you know, they went on for 45 minutes the other day, you know, and no agreement was reached. So the deadline is coming and going and Pelosi clarified her uh, Tuesday due date by stating that Tuesday was not a make or break date, but rather it was a due date to be prepared to proceed to the next action, in the stimulus package settlements. So, so, you know, a couple games being played, you know, but when you say something like that to the American people, hey, we want to know what's going on, you know, but according to Pelosi, you know, she stated that the other day stimulus package settlement was extremely efficient, which both parties are now closer to an agreement. Oh man, fine, right? Now Pelosi wrote a letter to her fellow Democrats on Tuesday evening, you know, the, and, and the highlights of the letter stated that um, these are her precise words, actually. Okay, so she said, I remain confident that we can reach a agreement and contract before the election. You know, it will be much safer, larger, and better this time around, and it will be retroactive. So and that's a good thing, right? So I mean, this gonna go back. So when they cut off, which was what? The end of August? The end of July. You know, it's gonna go back. So people on unemployment are gonna get that lump sum. That's good. Um, you know, the biggest products that the Republicans and Democrats are contesting are state and local government funding. You know, that thing is just a point of contention. Uh, because they're basically saying that badly ran Democrat states and city local governments who squandered money and you know, stole money and did all kinds of whatever kind of strong language you want to use, uh, they're trying to get bailed out, they're trying to put the money back, you know. So either side is accusing the other side of criminal acts. And I mean, this is criminal. I mean, but, you know, this is a point of contention, uh, man. Uh, but anyway, state and local city government funding and liability protection. You know, there are likewise smaller, you know, differences and disputes on tax credits and, you know, the nationwide screening method that we dealing with COVID-19 to eliminate, you know, our condition with COVID-19. You know, the, and Pelosi is, you know, compromising by alleviating, you know, uh, up on her demands for money for the census. You know, Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin are arranged to, you know, continue the stimulus plan negotiations uh, like Thursday, you know, according to Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, you know, the goal is to actually reach an agreement prior to the weekend, right? That was the goal. But I mean, here we are on the weekend. We'll see what happens. And, you know, let's, you know, let's have a look at what has actually been happening in the Senate. You know, the leader of the Republicans in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, told the Republicans not to cut an offer with the Democrats in the next few days due to the fact that, you know, it might end interfere with the Senate schedule to validate the Supreme Court nominee, Judge Amy Barrett. So now they're putting her in the way of Americans getting money. I mean, <laughs> therefore, what you think? Just leave in the comments. Uh, these are points of contention, hot topics, you know, and we want to know what you in this community, if you're listening in, what you think, man? I mean, therefore, you know, even if there is an agreement on the stimulus package in the next couple of days, you know, it may
may, you know, according to Mitch McConnell's um, desires, you know, it would be postponed a couple of more days since the Senate Republicans, they are focusing on the election of Judge Amy Barrett into the Supreme Court. You know, the Senate, they voted on a standalone bill, of course, like I was saying the other day for a second round of PPP and the PPP cash that would go to assist the self-employed and small businesses. You know, Democrats, uh, they state that, you know, they support small companies and they want to help. However, the Democrats in the Senate, you know, they were advised by their leaders to vote versus it, you know, to go against that, man, shut that down. <laughs> so <laughs> the bill, you know, it needed the 60 votes to pass, like I was saying, but it failed on a vote of 57 to 40. You know, all Republicans enacted favor of the bill, of course, and five Democrats, though, in fact, broke their, 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 over, their overseeing, you know, and enacted favor, you know, for it. But, you know, the leader of the Senate is thinking of voting on it once again, since the Republican senator did not vote. And the Republicans think that they could encourage two more Democrats to enact favor of the bill in order to get the required 60 votes. So, you know, they're trying to maneuver to get this thing done, but I mean, will it get done? You know, today the senators, you know, will be voting on another stimulus bill that would extend you know, unemployment. It will likewise offer cash to schools and it was simply, you know, it was supply funding, you know, for the healthcare system and our first responders and, and, uh, has it paid, you know, workers, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to be $500 billion. It was the bill of $500 billion and the Republican senators were, you know, all anticipating to enact, you know, voting for it. And the majority of the Democrats, you know, wanted to go against it, you know, um, please note that the Democrats, you know, they are in favor of unemployment, giving cash to schools and, you know, giving money to the healthcare system. However, the Democrats, you know, they'll be voting no due to the fact that their leaders are telling them to vote against it due to the fact that the Democrat leaders desire a huge all or nothing stimulus bill. Because remember the $500, the $500 billion bill, you know, it didn't include a stimulus check. And a lot of these, you know, people, they trying to get elected again. So they say, man, we dead, we dead. We not going, we not going to get voted for again if we don't get money to the people. So there's some incentive there. And moving on to political news, you know, the Senate, They'll be voting, you know, they voted on Trump's nominee, Judge Amy Barrett, you know, and they looking to vote on it this week. You know, Barrett, you know, she's expected to be successfully chosen into the Supreme Court due to the fact that the Republicans manage about 53 seats in the Senate and 50 votes will be needed to actually have her approved. So most likely she'll get elected. Uh, you know, Barrett is expected, you know, she's expected to be elected. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, only one Republican senator, you know, Senator Susan Collins from Maine, you know, stated that she will vote against Barrett due to the fact that Collins thinks that the winner of the next election should choose the nominee. You know, she don't think Trump should even have a chance to even choose who's nominated, you know. So what do you think about, it? you know, does she have that right? Um, Well, of course, she can vote however she wants. But what do you think about that? Do you think that um the winner of the election should be the one to choose, you know, the nominee? Because that's that's the point of contention with choosing Amy Barrett. You know, why is Trump choosing it? You know, it's not guaranteed he's going to win it. That's what a lot of people are saying. Um, But looking at COVID news, like I was saying, you know, case Cases continue to rise in the United States. Uh, uh, we reported, you know, 60,315 brand new cases and now up to 933 fatalities, uh, even on Tuesday. So it doubled in one day, you know, looking at the fatalities, it doubled. It was 400 and something and now it went up to 933. You know, where are we going, uh, folks? Uh, let's hope that, uh, everything kind of curbs down. I mean, this is according, of course, to the John Hopkins University tally. Uh, the United States has actually now reported 8.2 million cases. Did you know that? And 200 121,000 fatalities to date. So in one day, you had 933, which is almost a thousand, almost about the top of thousand. But to date, 221,000 fatalities to date. One of the points of contention in the debate was how did, do you feel President Trump handled uh, the handling of the pandemic? How do you feel? Write down in the comments what you think. You know, did he handle it okay with you? You know, could uh, double that have been lost if he didn't do what he did, whatever he did? Um, and the situation in Europe, though, uh, that's intensified. You know, it's just growing even worse. Uh, France is expecting expanding their red alert status to more regions. Uh, and they are proposing the extension of, you know, the state of emergency until 2021, all the way up until next year, you know, but of course that's like two months. So literally, uh, Germany will be deciding on whether they will re-enter a new lockdown if they're going to lock. So you got countries around us that are saying, you know, should we lock it back down, man? People starting, this thing starting to rise again. Should we lock it back down? Uh, what are we saying here in the United States? We should open it back up. So that's not everywhere because of course, Florida is, um, you know, thinking about 
reopening. But then you got some place like New Jersey, they thinking about closing down too. So, you know, this seems to be a point of contention, a point of uh, where people are differing. Uh, every governor's handling it different. What's happening in your neck of the woods? You know, right down in the comments, um, Croatia and Bulgaria, you know, they are reporting all time highs for daily infection. You know, that's the news for the day though. And if you found this report helpful, you know, please subscribe. You know, I'll keep you updated. As I know more, I'll share more. You know, I'll uh, save you the time by giving it to you concise and fast. And I'll let you know when you click on this video, just know, say to yourself, hey, I can find out what's happening real quick with this guy right here because he's going to tell me as he knows. He's not going to clickbait me. He's going to tell me the truth. But anyway, thank you so much. And please stay safe out there and just know that you're a winner. Regardless of what's happening, you're a winner. You're going to win at the end. You're going to win. All right. So thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.